Greetings fellow Unity users, this is Phoenix Talon and welcome to the Easy Mover Editor tutorial series. Uh, this is going to be the intro video of a multi-part video series which will teach you how to make this window right here. Um, this is just a simple move tool, uh, it's nothing too special. As a matter of fact, if you want to go ahead and pick it up, you can do so on the uh, Unity store. It is being offered for free. and. Um, it's not much, uh, it just does some of your basic moving, but I'll tell you it will help you avoid some rage quitting when you're building some levels and trying to move some meshes around. So, uh, you know, certainly if you don't want to learn how to build this, um, just go ahead and pick one up. But if you'd like to stick around and maybe learn something about editor scripting, then this is the video for you. Uh, just to go over a little bit of what we will building will be building, um, you see there's an info box that we'll be able to show. I'll also show you how to make it so that it scales like so. Um, and then you see the other thing we're going to be making are going to be these scroll bars on the side and on the bottom. Um, I'll show you how you can select something and you'll change the information as you select it. Uh, it'll teach you how to make buttons, how to make um, uh, these object fields right here, how to make buttons that change when you change something, um, how to make foldouts. I know that's a pretty big deal. A lot of people have questions about those. Uh, how to make toggles, how to make toggles that change when you select another toggle. Uh, again, with the foldouts, and how to make uh, uh, buttons that affect positions and offsets and moves, and how to do the undo feature, how to close. Uh, the window. There's a lot of things that this does. Uh, none of it is terribly spectacular, but um, again, it is useful. And if you know how to make something as basic as this, then certainly you'll be able to make something a little more substantial uh, when you're trying to make your own games. All right. So uh, I'll give you a little bit of a look under the hood. Uh, we're only going to be making two scripts, really. It's just two scripts. This is the first one. This is the editor script. Now, it is about 400, uh, 400 and change lines long. All right, but that also includes the commenting. And then the other script is very short. It's not even uh, 60 lines of code. So, and that's, again, with commenting. So it's probably only like maybe 30 lines of code. So nothing, nothing too hard here, nothing too significant. Um, now, what exactly does this do so that you'll want to know if you want to even uh, waste your time building it? Uh, well, let me go ahead and show you. All right, let's say you go ahead and have you uh, a cube or shape or something that you've just placed in your scene. And you want to put it over here next to this other cube. All right, well, what you could do is you could select the cube that you want. See, it's unselected, and I'll go ahead and select it. And I'm going to go ahead and create this easy mover node. Automatically creates a, a prefab right here, which is a child of, of the big cube. Then I'm going to take that node and I'm going to drag and drop it on the cube I want to move it to. And bam, there you go. Pretty simple. Um, moves it right on it. Uh, it's there, see, right there. Um, you know, no mistaking, that's definitely there. Okay. Um, and then, of course, I could undo that and then back to center. All right. Um, but let's say I, I didn't want to just uh, do a quick move like that. Let's say I want something a little more precise. Well, then um, I'll go ahead and take the big cube and drag that into object one, uh, the object one field. Take the little cube I want to move it to and put it to the object two field. All right. And now, as long as I have those two set, I can just instantly move it uh, like so. Okay. So uh, that's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and undo that. And actually, you could use Control Z also. Um, whenever you do, uh, let's. I'll show you. Whenever you move something, it'll show you right here. Undo, move, big teal cube. Okay. So uh, Control Z. There you go. Pretty easy. Okay. Um, so let's say uh, more than that. I want to move it right here on one of the sides. Okay. So let's say I want to move it on the left side. I'll go ahead and click left, and bam, there you go. It is actually fairly close to 
uh, zero it out on the left side of that cube. Okay, uh, I didn't really want on the left side, I wanted on the right side, same thing, pretty easy to work with. Um, let's say I want it up on uh, this upper corner here, or the edge rather, I can go ahead and do that too. So I'll show you how to make all this stuff. Uh, let's say I want to make it on one of the corners, so the corners touch, same thing. All right. Now you're saying, oh, well, what if the uh, the little cube is rotated? Uh, that's not going to work, right? Well, you know, I took care of that too. So let's go ahead and rotate that cube, and bam, look at that. There it is. Pretty easy. So, like I said, doesn't do a lot, but this could be pretty handy, and I think some of you uh, level designers are starting to see where this could be really, really handy. Um now, there's a few more things that it does, and we'll get into it as we go. I mean, this is not a how to use the tool video. It's a how to build the tool video. And like I said, if you really want this thing, uh, go ahead and just head on over to the Unity Store. Pick it up. It's free. Uh, I'm probably never going to charge money for this thing, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know it never being there. The only thing is that I might do some updates, and as people know, I have a tendency to add features rather than take features away. So if you don't like that, then go ahead and get the older version now while you have a chance. Uh, otherwise, it will go ahead and be updated at my earliest convenience. So let me go ahead and close this window out, and I'll stop the video. At the next video, we'll go ahead and start building this thing in the scripting, and we'll see what we can do from there. And thank you for watching. Bye.